last lecture we learn about the, uh, the the structural attitudes in beds and different kinds of geological structures and how we can use them to to map some area or to show some information in the form of the the inclination of beds and the under, underground structural orientation of the beds so in this lecture i am going to explain you some kind of specific topography is related to some groundwater activity or related to some volcanic activity or some kind of fluvial activity which is a very dominating uh, depositional environment so it has some erosional landforms also and most of the landforms are related to erosion due to fluvial processes so but the basic things about the fluvial processes and the fluvial landforms these were explained in the first part of this course so i am just uh, going to remind you if some of the students those who have not attended the first part of this course for them i am going to explain some basic uh, uh, ideas of the fluvial landform so fluvial landforms okay fluvial means related to rivers so when we talk about rivers we know that there are basically four stages of a river first is initial second is youth third is mature and the fourth is old there are four stages of a river in this stage rivers have lots of energy and they have they are capable of eroding lots of sediments from the upland area or the in in case of india like from the himalayan terrain so when they flow from the upland to to the 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 planar area like alluvial plain of the india or endogenetic plain of india so in that case they are having lots of energy and they are capable of eroding much of the sediments from the upland area and during transportation they deposit some of the sediments at the foothill zone and most of the sediments in their mature stage and the all the remaining load in the older stage okay so initial stage you will find very straight channel straight channel the width of the channel will be less and depth of the channel will be more okay in case of youth you will also find some similar kind of activity like narrow channels and incised or deep channel incised means the channel which do undercutting into the bedrock so due to which the channel becomes incised so if i take the cross sectional profile of this river the straight channel so i will find like this okay so very incised channel and it has a narrow width okay in case of mature stage channels become wider and less deeper depth decreases and width increases depth decreases width increases okay so if i take the cross sectional profile of this channel so it will be like u shaped valleys in this case we get v shaped valleys 
and this case u shape because in this in the first case rivers have lots of energy and they are capable of eroding everything which comes into their way so they flow straight okay because they have lots of energy they are capable of flowing in a straight channel in this case the energy becomes lower and due to which river become big river started meandering okay so suppose this is the river channel it will start meandering like this and where in this channel at these points it will cause deposition and on its outer bends it will cause erosion erosion at the outer bends while deposition at the inner bends similarly here deposition and here erosion okay so that's why this in the later stages this channel becomes more wider because at the outer bends it continuously erode the the levy its levy outer levy okay so as it, it this river got older it develops a profile like this okay because there is erosion at its bend if we talk about the older old stage so in this case river is very very wide and very shallow okay width increases and depth decreases again and if you take the cross sectional profile of this channel you will have a very shallow channel like this where in between this channel you will have some sand islands also where you will be able to see some grass or plant or, or vegetation over it in between the rivers you will have some small islands of sand or soil etc on which they grow some some vegetation so this kind of channel known as braided channel braided channel b r a i d e d braided channel please browse all these terms on the internet so that you will have the correct idea of these things so this is called the braided channel and the the i sand islands in between the channels are known as braid bars braid bars okay so in this case in mature stage we got meandering channel meandering channel here straight channel straight meandering braided bars initial is actually just like the youth stage initial means where from where river initiates okay so of course it initiates at the the highest part of the mountains where glacial melts and supply some water some sediments to and it that it erode on uh, it the rock and the material on its way and form a narrow very narrow channel and incised channel so that is the initial stage youth is somewhat the well developed part of this initial stage okay so youth channel so these these are some basic so now we'll move with some models and we'll see how a topography of the fluvial land forms look alike okay first look at this model okay so this is showing some hilly terrain you can see that there are some beds here okay so there are some inclined strata so suppose this is the this is the highest part of the himalaya or the part where glacial melts and river originates so suppose this is the highest part and here you can see that 
river originate here and flowing like this okay by cutting the bedrocks okay the cutting the material by cutting the material which is coming on its way and many other channels small small channels will join it at a later stage okay where it will become a youth stage river so this is suppose this is the initial stage so this is showing the v shape channel so if we if you see the cross sectional profile here so where a channel develops here you you will see a v but this v is little what shallower but if you see from this side you will have a very incised v okay well developed v form of a channel so this is this basically this happens in the youth stage during the youth stage and these are the bedrocks as you know and river flows by cutting the underneath bedrock and whatever material or sediments coming on its way it is capable of eroding everything and capable of removing everything because it has lots of energy because there is a topographic slope okay why high energy because there is a slope which is coming almost from a few kilometers up to the planar areas okay so suppose this this is a slope at some 6 kilometers or 5 kilometers and it is coming like this and joining the in indogangetic plane okay so that's why it has very much energy and cause erosion and form the erosional landform and this is uh, this shows the subdued topography like very curved areas on the surface this is because of the the some some activities like wind activities or strong over here and some type of rain and some type of precipitation activity which uh, which erode the the surficial sediments and 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 uh, support the runoff supply runoff to these ongoing rivers okay similarly uh, in this model also you can see the same v shape channel suppose this is somewhat at a lower height the channel developed first here at a greater heights greater elevation then it comes over here and now it is flowing like this now you can see that the rivers or the tributaries are joining at a wider angle okay whereas in this case in this model the tributaries are joining at a very narrow angle okay but here you can see the tributaries are coming like this and joining and all these tributaries if you see the main channel so this is the main channel the major river and these are all the tributaries so if you see the configuration of the tributaries and their arrangement and configuration with the main channel you will be able to see that there is a dendritic drainage pattern a tree like pattern on this topography okay which is shown like this this you have already seen in your lectures there are number of examples in the lectures please go through the slides and you will be able to see a tree like patterns like streams are coming and joining the main stream so this is a tree like branching over here and this is called the dendritic drainage pattern this is very specific to this kind of topography a sloping land okay so that's why it also develops over some faulting terrain or some kind of folded highly folded terrains there is another example which shows the hilly terrain and showing the v shaped valleys there are two v shaped valleys over here and if you see here there is only one v shaped valley so these two or three or four v shaped valleys which were developed over the higher elevation are coming and joining the main channel and here a single v shaped channel this that is representing the main channel like in in our case like the koshi river coming from the nepal and joining the plain areas of the bihar so this is the main channel and this is the tributaries joining the koshi river okay 
So, this is the surface expression of the beds in form of the parallel layers. Okay. So, this is the example of a mountain and a river coming from mountain and joining the folder terrain and or the highly folded terrain and here the, the same river is joining the, the oceanic part or a major river you can say. So, this is an example of some mountainous terrain here you can see this, this blue line is indicating a stream which is coming from the, the higher elevation and joining these folded. So, what will happen? This stream will cut, will cut the folds, these folds and flow like this. Okay. So, this will be superposed stream in, 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 a, in a form like it can, it can erode all these materials, all the folds or any structure coming in it on its way, it is capable of eroding it and then it can flow like this. In another case, it shows like a river is coming and meeting the ocean. Okay, This river is coming and meeting the ocean part and where when a river joins the ocean, it will form a delta or a fan. In case of a river, it will form a uh, an alluvial fan, the sediments which are deposited at the lower elevation due to some water body in on its way. So, it will deposit all, all its load over here in a form of a fan like this. It will deposit, suppose this river is coming like this and joining a river, so it will deposit all its sediments in form of a fan. So, on the on the let the, the last part of this fan, the end or terminal point of this fan, you will find the finest sediment like silt, clay and on the top part you will find the coarser grains like boulders, some gravels. Okay, scores sand. So this is a range of sediments of for with decreasing size. Okay, the largest particle to finest particle. So similarly, in this case, it will form a alluvial fan on this topography. Now here in a, is an example of superposed stream you can see that on this model this blue line represents the stream okay and it is flowing at a higher level but now in other case the stream is flowing like this and it has got incised you can see here this is a shallow channel and this is an incised channel. This is coming like this, okay? Because tributaries join under normal conditions. Under normal conditions, a river flow like this, okay? Many of the students may get confused between this pattern of the river. So, if we see this pattern somewhere on the images on the satellite data or anywhere on the Google Earth images. So, we suppose that a river is flowing like this because it is eroding and going on its way. It is branching its channels in this direction, but under normal conditions it flows like this. This is the normal trend of the river. Many tributaries comes and join the main stream that is known as trunk stream, okay, a single major channel. So here in this case, this is an example of superposed stream and a superposed stream 
is a stream that forms over horizontal beds that overlie folded and faulted rock with varying resistance. Having cut down through the horizontal beds, the stream retains its course and pattern as it proceeds to erode the underlying rocks. Okay, so here as you can see that it has eroded the sediments and going like and coming like this. Next model shows some synclinal bends and anticlinal dome here. So this is an anticlinal dome and as you know that it was explained in the lecture also you will find some radial pattern. Whenever you have a dome or a volcano or any cone, any, any type of domal structure. Okay? So this is basically a, a cross section represented here uh, of the anticlinal dome. So this is in form of a dome and this is the highest part in this dome and this is the lowest elevation. So rivers are flowing like this from here to down slope. Okay? So they are forming a radial pattern everywhere all along its sides. They are coming like this along the along the <coughs> the cross section where the two beds are joining each other and then they are able they are cutting down slope along across the limbs of the fold. So they are forming the radial pattern. Here is another model which shows the stream capture. Okay. This is also known as stream piracy, where a river flowing on a higher terrain joins the river flowing at the lower terrain. Okay. Lower and higher terrain means the higher the terrain at a higher elevation and this terrain at a lower elevation. So you can see that the river is flowing here, okay. but in the initial stage you will find this type of surface morphology where a river cuts down slope and joins any of the tributary or any of the channel of the major river which is flowing at a lower elevation. When this terrain becomes more mature or the the, the river grows on its way towards the down slope, it will form a more mature topography, which you can see here. This is this diagram shows the river capture soon after the capture. Okay, so there is a river flowing like this. These are the tributaries joining these rivers. Okay. So this is the slope here, this is down slope area. So you can see that how deeply incised this channel is. Okay? Deeply incised means it has undercut all the rocks, bed rocks and flows across this down slope and joins the major stream flowing down slope. So this is a more mature topography of a stream piracy or river capture. There is another model which shows a more mature terrain. This is long after the stream capture. Okay, so long time after the stream, uh, when a stream capture other stream flowing at a lower elevation. So you can see the tributaries are coming and joining like this. And here, you if by focusing it here, you can see that how deeply incised this channel is. And why it is so? Because this river was flowing at a higher elevation and it has gone down slope and because of a base level which is maintained here, because of this base level it has cut underneath and it continuously cut the bedrock until it meets the base level. Base level means the level of this terrain. Okay? So it will continuously cut the whole terrain until it will reach the base level of this terrain because 
it has joined this channel and and because of the this slope a greater slope it will cut all the rocks with um, uh, whatever hardness is there or whatever resistive rocks are there but it will be able to cut down all the topographic relief okay so this is also called the surface relief the ups and downs on a topography so if you uh, you will see such kind of topography at the higher elevation where is a glacial terrain because of the uh, because of a higher elevation there is ice melting over here these white patches are showing basically the the ice and when this ice melts then it supplies water down slope and it forms the streams the new you can see the newly formed streams here okay and all these newly formed streams are joining the main channel okay which is coming from the somewhat upland area okay so this forms of terrain you will find in the initial stage and it will join the youth stage at a lower elevation this is the example of some river or river land forms actually so you can see this is a meandering channel okay and it will have this these white parts are showing the deposition over here in the inner bends of the river the it will deposit the sand okay so it these will be the sand bars or point bars and at outer bends it will have erosion here there is a oxbow lake which has separated from the main channel first it was flowing here but now it has shifted towards this direction and left over some part which is the oxbow lake okay so this is the topographic slope from where all the waters are coming and joining this river if there is precipitation or any kinds of water supply over here so this will join the main channel okay similarly this part shows this model shows the in more incised river and it shows the drain dendritic drainage pattern where tributaries are coming like this and joining the main channel or the trunk stream okay so this is the more incised channel it means it has formed in the youth stage of a river when this stage becomes mature so the river will transform into more mature landform or mature topography where it it shows major meanders okay on both the sides so as soon it it goes downwards in the older stages the meandering of the channel or this is sinus activity means the highly sinus channel will be lose out and there will be an older channel of a broad u shaped valley where you will find braided channel or braided islands or braided sandbars in the middle of the river and regarding that this is the last model which shows uh, Uh, a geomorphic landform like questa where a river is coming from upland area and joining the river at the main alluvial plain okay in our case in case of india you can say that at the foothill zone where a consequent stream is coming like this and joining the alluvial plain where this form show, this part shows some dendritic pattern of the channel so this part basically is the questa where there is a break in the topography and river continues to flow downwards and this type of river is known as antecedent stream it flows against the topographic relief if suppose if there is strata some highly folded strata it is capable of eroding and cutting down 
the limbs of the folded strata so this is these are the ant antecedent stream it flows uh, regardless of the topography or the topographic slope this is another example of the river piracy where stream captures the other channels flowing at a lower elevation so here you can see the rivers coming these tributaries coming from a higher elevation are joining the main stream okay so these are the tributaries and this is the main stream or the trunk stream if you see here so this is also showing a synclinal band or a major synclinal fold where rivers are coming down slope in the mid part of this synclinal band because its limbs are sloping towards the center here is another geomorphic landform related to shoreline as i have earlier shown in the last lecture yeah this was explained in the lecture uh, of week 3 that the when there is emergence of the shoreline so then you will be able to see some features beyond the range of the present day shoreline okay so like this is the offshore bar this is the lagoonal area okay and this is this part is showing the beach ridge the beach ridge is a form of sand dune which may be of marine origin or which may be of eolian origin which divides the topography from the sea to the inland okay so this is the shoreline and these are some the uh, uh, some shore bars because of the emergence of this shoreline okay this model explains the karst topography i have earlier shown uh, uh, lots of photographs aerial photographs as well as satellite photographs related to this kind of topography this form of topography develops when underground water dissolves the the the, the calcitic material like uh, the the rocks made up of limestone or some some subsurface lithology of uh, having limestone the, the the calcitic composition so because it is capable of eroding and dissolving all these fractions there is formation of some caverns like features and holes so these holes are known as spot holes sink holes and somewhere there is a formation of natural bridge also where there is erosion or the dissolve dissolution activity on both the sides so there will be formation of a, a natural bridge so these are specifically related to karst topography which is solely depend on the lithology so i explained earlier as it, it is in the case of limestone and dolomite type of lithology which you can identify based on the geomorphic landforms which you are getting on the surface okay so uh, in this lecture uh, we'll stop here and we'll continue in the next lecture with the google earth where i'll show some images and different kind of landforms okay and those landforms may be related to fluvial eolian and coastal environments okay so in the next lecture we will continue with the google earth okay thank you so much